Older Texans and those with disabilities will be receiving some extra help thanks to money from the Texas Health and Human Services Commission. Our reporter Roland Rodriguez joins us live this morning from the Area Agency on Aging of the Coastal Bend with more. And Roland, I have to ask just how much money are we talking here? Uh, good morning, Sonia, and good morning, South Texas. The funding will be used to support programs and services administered by the state's 28 area agencies on aging. Uh, there's never a good time for a disaster, but uh, when there is one that comes into our hits or affects our community, then uh, we're here to provide the assistance to the elderly and the disabled populations and whatever their needs may be. This funding will help assist the elderly and disabled with grocery and meal delivery and help with household chores and relief for family caregivers. And that can vary from meals to add additional money and supplement the meals program. That can be for services such as uh, additional services for the ombudsman program or additional funding for that. It can be for uh, food baskets, for financial assistance which could be things such as rental assistance, utilities assistance. The nearly $54 million in funds through the Federal Coronavirus Aid Relief Economics Act will also be used to support long-term care. Correct, there's a lot of elderly and disabled in our communities. Everyone is getting older. Uh, population is just headed in that direction. So services and the need have increased over the years and will continue to do so. And again, these federal funds will help provide higher risk Texans with additional support and resources to meet their everyday needs while allowing them to stay safe and at home. Sonia.